Hey guys, it's Max. I'm here at NAB. I've actually been here for the past day or so, since I guess Sunday night, so all day Monday. I wasn't really planning to shoot a lot here, more hang out, meet with other YouTube creators, meet with fans, talk to some brands and build up some uh, relationships. But I did want to make one video. You guys might have seen that right there in the background, Black Magic Design, and they did release DaVinci Resolve 16. If you've been following my video editing comparisons, you'll know that Resolve went from being slower than Premiere Pro, then they matched up with them, and then it became slightly faster than Premiere Pro with more features, and they just kept updating and updating it. And then with the recent tests, iMac versus iMac Pro, uh, Resolve is actually beating Final Cut on a Mac in a lot of the tests, so I have been really impressed, and I've been wondering how long can I hold off uh, before switching over to DaVinci Resolve. So let's go find somebody that can show us the new uh, cut module and some of the new features and additions. Um, I am shooting on a brand new camera I've never shot with before. It's very small. If you want to guess what it is, you can guess in the comment section below. And let me know what you think of the image. And I will leave a link in the video description if you want to check it out. So I'm bringing you into the cut page. The cut page is your canvas, clean. First thing you're going to do, this will be all blank. And instead of making it all blank and doing it, I just want you to realize that all you need is one click and that is your folder. This is the interface that allows you to simplify what you're looking at. I care about the content. So we took the quarter of the page and we made it all about the content. The upper right side is your vision of your content. And now, if you look at the middle, this whole section here is your whole timeline. And simultaneously, you have a zoomed in version right at the bottom. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just moving my eyes from here to there. How much time do we spend? Click, zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm hyper connected to the shots, the story I want to tell. So I mark that and I append it. I mark in, I mark out, and I append. So I put a little more effort while I was in that shot on that shot in the bin and I marked it in and out and then I just added it. So I hold the roll out and now I'm gonna bring that back and I'll look up at the screen and see what the timing is, okay? I let go. I'm in the neighborhood. So does this remind you of anything? This reminds me. This whole layout, the design, in and out points, dropping it down. I don't know if I could say that this is part of my past where there's a jog knob and that I'm more natural and I'm more fluid of exactly how I used to look at footage on videotape. Now you can do stabilization right from the cut page now, right? You heard about that, did you? I did. Can you show me how it's done? It's so easy. We want to be able to stay on the edit page and just do that simple effect. So, nice and quick, fast, not switching through. So here it is. I open this panel up and now I have all these parameters. We've added the option now for you to do stabilization in the edit page. Usually you have to jump over to the color page. Yeah, it's an extra step that takes yeah. more time. I can go ahead and I can stabilize it. goes up, go ahead and analyze it. Woo, fast. This version is that we pull a lot of the effects from the CPU over to the GPU. Oh, more so effects. More effects over to the GPU. Oh, jeez. So that now makes the program move a lot, lot faster. I like that. GPU, GPU, GPU. It actually shows you which clips are on the GPU. It carries over to the color page, so if you jump into the color page, you can select your adjustment layer here, and you can go ahead and you can add everything to the adjustment layer. Now all the fusion effects are done or moved over to the graphics cards. The graphics so card if you have a little 13-inch MacBook Pro, you you're doing fusion effects without yes. rendering real-time playback. Nice. All right, so uh, you guys saw some of that. I probably have to cut out quite a bit. There's a lot they wanted to show me, uh, but I will link down in the, the description of this video, the full like half hour video going over all the new features. If you have some time, even if you just listen to it as a podcast, man, they are killing it. This is good for speed, simplicity, get your cut done. And that's the great thing about Final Cut. I love that about it. They had it stabilized in a separate little section. You have to go to the color page anymore. They're speeding things up. And, uh, they have object removal, so this I mean, sounds like, I don't know if you up. heard of uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. in After Effects what they had. Work <laughs> Yours works better? There you go. There you. They have it, but they say their tracking is better. Um, and they have all their audio tools, Fusion, and that whole AI face detection thing 
if you shoot weddings or something else where you have a lot of clips, to be able to search through, tag people, and later, hey, I need another shot of the bride. I need a shot of the bride with the bridesmaid. Bam, click, you see all the clips you have available for speed, that is awesome. So am I gonna move over from Final Cut to DaVinci Resolve? I think uh, eventually, yes. I think I won't be able to afford not to. With the speed improvements, it's beating Final Cut in a lot of things now. All these new amazing features, man, it is very enticing now. And you can get a lot of those features for free or 300 bucks one-time payment. So here's a hilarious thing I'll show you guys. We have uh, Adobe Training right here for Premiere Pro. And guess what's right over there competing with them? DaVinci Resolve Training. <laughs> But what's really funny is there's no computers here anywhere. You just watch. And with Resolve, we have a bazillion iMac Pros over here. So you can actually follow along and start learning, which is interesting because Adobe is a much, much bigger company than uh, DaVinci Resolve or Blackmagic. All right, guys, so I'm going to go. I'm going to try to make some more connections to bring you guys more awesome content. Thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.